The Lord bless you, friends and family. This another time with Prophet Linford, and today I'm bringing you the undiluted word of God that will liberate you, that will change your life, and that will transform your life. Every day I've been saying that if you have the word without the spirit, you dry up. If you have the spirit without the word, you blow up. But if you have the word and the spirit, you will grow up. And today I'm bringing you a revelation for you to have freedom. My brethren, anytime a message comes and that message gives you freedom, that is a Christ message. Anytime a message drops and that message gives you freedom, it is a Christ message. A message that will give you freedom is not a message that will put you into bondage. So the Spirit of the Lord has prepared me today to release a message entitled, Your Prophet, Your Assignment. Your Prophet, Your Assignment. Your Prophet, Your Assignment. Somebody is going to say, Man of God, what is this topic all about? Yes, I'm about to break it down for you to gain understanding. In Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15, the Lord said that I will give you pastors of my heart that shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So when you connect to a vessel of God, what you need to expect is knowledge and understanding. As the word of God says, you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. The reason why you fear to walk in truth is because of a lack of knowledge and understanding. So brethren, as you are watching me, the message that I'm about to give it's not, I repeat again, it's not to put you into bondage. It's for you to obtain knowledge, for you to act in faith. The Bible says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. So, our uncle's scripture is taken from the book of 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 9. 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 9 says, And she said unto her husband, Behold, I perceive that this is an holy man of God, which passed by, let us make a little chamber, and I pray thee on the wall, and let us set for him a bed, and a table, and a stool, and a candlestick, and it shall be when he come to us, that he shall have a place to rest. Hallelujah. Now, this is a very worthy woman that the Bible was talking about that each and every day she observed the prophet moving from one place to another place and she felt the need to make a provision for the prophet prophetic provision give birth to prophetic audacity i repeat again prophetic provision give birth to prophetic audacity the bible made us understand and when the woman prepared that place for the man of God, the man of God came within the chamber and slept. And what happened? The man of God said to his servant, servant, what can we do to this woman? Because of the provision what she has done. And the servant told the prophet, that prophet, she does not have a child. What did Elijah do? Elijah prayed for the woman to obtain a child. Now, this just by the way, who is a prophet? Prophets are destined angels sent in a human embodiment to rescue people. Prophets don't put people in bondage. Prophets instruct and help people to know their direction. That's what I'm saying. Your prophet, your assignment. Every prophet that you connect with will help you to know your assignment, which is not a bondage. If you are with a man of God, if you are with a prophet, and that prophet has not get to a level for him to uncover the giftings. Or that prophet is not helping to get into your giftings. There's a problem somewhere. Every leader that you are under must help you to know your assignment. Because the gospel cannot be spread by one person. Every leader is a prophet. And the work of a leader is to help the people to discover their assignment and spread them to move in their assignment. This is a prophetic word. Your prophet is your prophet. Your prophet is your prophet. One thing that I want to say is that for you to work with a prophet is to have the right character. For you to work with your prophet is to have the right character. 
There are three people that comes in our life. I call them destiny helpers. Number one, the prophet. Number two, the king. And number three, the priest. Today, I just want to talk about the prophet and the king. A prophet is somebody that directs. Instructions are the highway of construction of destiny. Instructions eliminate distractions. Somebody is going to say, ah, man of God, instructions are the highway of construction of destiny. Instructions eliminate distraction. Yes. Let me tell you one thing. There was a man in the Bible called Naaman. The man was afflicted, but very proud. It took a servant to tell Naaman, my king, listen, you need to listen to what the prophet have said. When a prophet speaks into your life through an instruction, it does not mean the prophet is autocratic to your soul. Every message that will give you freedom is something that you need to act upon by faith. I repeat again, any message you receive from a leader who is a prophet, which I said a prophet is a director, that will give you freedom, you need to follow by faith. The king was so stubborn, very, very stubborn. He took a servant to tell the king that my king, listen, follow what the prophet have said and you're going to have what the result. And the Bible says, and when the king paid him attention to the instructions of the prophet, the Bible says, and the king's body became new like a baby. The king's body became new like a baby. That's why I was saying that instructions are the highway of construction of destiny. Instructions eliminate distractions. So if you want to uh, get results, if you want to get testimonies, you need to pay attention to instructions. And instruction deliver you from, from prison. Instruction delivers you from oppression. Instruction delivers you from bondage. Those who abide by instruction take over. Those who abide by instruction take over. Now, there's something that people have been saying. Oh, we are having false prophets. We are having false prophets. Let me tell you something. I want to get into that much. Your husband is a prophet. Your boyfriend is a prophet. Your girlfriend is a prophetess. I know you are smiling and you are laughing by this time. I say your husband is a prophet. Your boyfriend is a prophet. Your father, your mother, they are all prophets. Why? They are leaders. And let me help you with the false prophets. If I promise you something and I don't do it, I become a false prophet. Okay, let me break it down. Those who stand for president, when I come, I'm going to do this. When I come, I'm going to do this. When I come, I'm going to do this. When they don't do what they have promised, they become false prophets. So when we talk about a false prophet, don't tie it to the giftings of the Spirit alone. Because everybody is a prophet. If today you promise somebody that tomorrow you are going to do something and you don't do it, you become false. You become a false prophet. So every day, automatically, we are always false prophets. So don't look at my face and point me as a false prophet. Look at your wife. You promised your wife you never did it. You promised your husband you never did it. You promised your worker that two weeks, three weeks, you never did it. So let us repent in the name of Jesus Christ. My friends and families, one thing that I want to tell you is that you working with a prophet is you becoming humble. The work of a prophet is to work on your character for you to meet your king. I repeat again. The work of a prophet is for the prophet to work on your character. What? For you to meet your king. If the prophet does not work on your character, you can't have a miracle. Hallelujah. The test and how you pass to get your testimony is through your character examination. It is through your character examination. And it takes a prophet to work on your character for you to get a testimony because your testimony is connected to your character and it is only the prophet that can prepare you to have the right character 
for your kin to come closer to you. When I talk about a kin, a kin is somebody that has something to give to you. Uh, that husband you need can give you your marriage. That businessman you need can give you a business, a work to do. It is only the prophet that will tell you that, look, my daughter, my son, you brought this to me, but let me give you a knowledge for you to have success in this. Prophet can declare and things happen in your life. So, the work of a prophet is to set you free and is to put you in your freedom. The work of a prophet is not to incapacitate you, to bring you down. Uh, people say, and it's caused slavery and whatever. It's not about that. It is not about that. Everybody that can put you into your freedom in your next level is a person you need to follow. I repeat again. Everybody that can put you in your freedom in your next level is a person you need to follow. And such a person is not to incapacitate you. Hallelujah. So, if you want to really connect with your prophet, follow his instructions. Instructions are the highway of construction of this. And every man of God, any person that is in your life, the only way you can see that that person is helping you is for the person to help you fulfill your assignment. God bless you so much. This is Prophet Lenford.